Hello and welcome to Brain Trust Live number 45. This week on the podcast, hold on to your hats. It's Inauguration Day, so that's happening. Healthcare has the most exciting, underreported week ever. And the White House proposes a great gun control package and is immediately one-upped by New York State. Plus, we've got a fun new weekly segment. The debt ceiling crisis isn't happening anymore. Go home. Come back in March. And we've got the return of Mark Sanford, our first introduction to Stephen Colbert's sister, and a Berman Sherman follow-up that we never saw coming. Plus, gays, the environment, and a nefarious smoothie shop that won't be getting any of our business. No. <laughs> All this and more. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter. This is Brain Trust Live. Happy Inauguration Day! Inauguration Day. It's today. Well, round one is today. Round one. Because it has to be. And then the party's tomorrow. Right. Yeah. The Uh party slash parade slash what I guess is often a protest as well. Sure. During the Bush years, I went to a lot of the protests. I went to all the Bush inaugurations inaugurations (laughs) as a protester. Sure. There were not a lot of celebratory (laughs) parties going on at that point. No. And also, he would not get out of his car. He just had, like, the window rolled down, like, an inch, and he was, like, waving to the people. All of his supporters were gathered on balconies, and then the ground was all protesters, so he was waving up to his supporters with his fingers. Creep. Ugh. Terrible. He's a creepy guy. Mm -hmm. Also, there's an Algerian hostage (laughs) crisis going on. Yeah. We were going back and forth about whether we wanted to talk about this, and I was like, let's just at least let people know Know that we know. know." (laughs) Because it's sort of a big story, but we just can't muster up the... The care. For exactly. It, I guess it's tragic it's, and we get it, but we're just not we're, talking about we're it. We're following it and it's not domestic enough <laughs> right. for us. You know, we, we like, unless there's something that really interests us going on internationally, yeah. we like to stick to the yeah. domestic news. Yeah, we're going to talk about whatever we want. We're going to have like an hour and a half in, of news for you people right now. In fact, now. we're not even going to start with what you think we're going to nope. because we just are throwing caution to the wind. That's right. This week. Let me tell you what we're going to start with healthcare. Boom. Let's lay it on them. <laughs> um, the most exciting thing that's ever happened in the history of the world that no one talked about at all yeah, it happened, happened this week. This week. Yeah. Um, and that is that the Democrats introduced a Deficit Reduction Act uh, called the Public Option Deficit Reduction Act yes. that basically reintroduces the public option, but not as a thing that helps people because people hate things that help people. Correct. This is one thing I've realized yep. as I've been talking about single payer health care in New York State for the yep. last few weeks. No one wants things that help people. They don't like being helped. No. Deficit reduction, apparently people people are very personally invested in. Deficit reduction. Yeah. Yeah. So we have these Republicans who for weeks were threatening to hold up the economy. Yeah. And I mean, to hold up the entire government. Yeah. Basically over, you know, this debt ceiling fake issue nonsense. Mm -hmm. And they want spending cuts. And they want deficit reduction. So Jan Schakowsky and Henry Waxman, Democrats, like, are going to give fine. it to them. And they're going to give it to them by way of, of... helping people. Of helping people and giving them health insurance. Because exactly. the CBO has claimed that the public option would save, you know, $100 billion over the next yeah. decade, basically. Yeah. So Which is... That's serious that's money. Some, that's some savings, people. That's some real money there. Yeah. Well, this is what has always been a confusing part of this issue. And this is what is sort of like what the Republicans always get caught with is they're so hypocritical because they really won't accept deficit reduction plans that somehow like steal windfall profits from corporations in their opinion. Uh They will only accept deficit reduction if it's cuts from like tax dollars that people are paying to help other people. Right. Like they don't want people's tax dollars to go to services for people. Right. Mm -hmm. But they get real invested in protecting large industries in, but like, and protecting, if their uh, priority is deficit and and protecting, yeah, exactly. And protecting defense interests. If their priority is deficit reduction, there are a lot of ways that we can both help people and reduce the deficit. We don't need to spend so much money on healthcare at all. Right. I love the reframing of this issue. This is what we're planning to do in New York state. This is what my fake group that I'm starting is planning to do. I know. It's so exciting. Well, and this is, it's also great because it leads me to believe that the Democrats are sort of, you know, hundreds of years later, catching on to this, yeah. this plan. I know. Because Republicans are good at adding, you know, they'll, they'll take some ridiculous thing, like, you know, that makes sure that women don't have any reproductive rights, and they'll right. call it the Women Reproductive <laughs> Rights Act, Right, basically. the Women's or Freedom and Reproduction Rights right, Act. Right, exactly. Or they'll, they'll add the word patriot onto something exactly. to make it impossible to vote against freedom. it, because then you're, you know, against America. And the Democrats are not good at sort of like... PR wars. Not at all. Yeah. So this is just, it's not going to pass. No. But it's, it, it's <clears throat> hopeful. 
because it, it's a step towards reframing an issue that desperately needs to be reframed because it is an issue like it would be good for business and for people yeah. to have a single payer health care. It would be good to have a public option, which is sort of this a step on the way to a single payer health plan. These things all reduce the deficit. Yeah. That's what we're all about right now is reducing the deficit because we have this major deficit and we have these people that don't want to vote on a new debt ceiling. So we're supposed to be reducing it. Yeah. Boom. 